Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to deploy a React application with Express.js and Docker. We start from the example of the previous videos, I'm going to link the previous video here, and build a Docker container with the server and client side of the application. So let's quickly review the uh, application architecture. We have a server file, server.js, where the Express.js web server is running, and then I'm going to go deeper in the taste on how we're using Express.js to serve static files. And then we have a React application on the source and public folder. The React application has been built using the Create React App boilerplate. Before checking the Docker file, I want to give an overview of the architecture of the application. So let's say we have our uh, Docker container, which I'm gonna call it here. So it's gonna be Docker container and I'll change the background like this. We, I would like to have inside the Docker file a client UI image, so a client UI um, build file where the React application will sit. So this one will be the client UI. And then I want to have a server up on the same Docker image which is going to run Express.js and it's going to serve the, um, sorry, let me change color. And it's going to serve the client UI application. So this thing is going to serve the client UI application and the Docker container will expose the, um, here like a, a port, yeah, it can be 500, for example, to the uh, operating system. So this is like the ideal uh, architecture, and then I'm gonna show you how you can do that on using Docker and build your custom image. So the first part of the Docker file is for the UI application. So the, I call it the UI build, and this is for the React application. And my goal in this script is to build the application running npm run, run build. npm run build will create will create a build folder as you can see here with the steady files needed for the React application to be served by Express.js. So let's go through all the uh, commands of the Docker file. What I'm doing here is changing the work directory. It's really how to you. This is like how I did it. Then I'm copying the package.json file and I'm running npm install. So very basic so far. Next step is to copy the um, React folders where the application sits. So it will be two of them source folder and public folder where on the source folder we have the app the React application files and on the public folder we have the static files like index.html and all the you know images and logos next and last step for the uh, client app is to run the npm run build so what we did in this uh, different steps is to basically create inside our um, docker image a folder called user app client where we copy all the React application files and we run npm run build. Uh, just a quick clarification here: I'm doing, I'm copying first the package.json and then the source and public files because how the Docker file and the Docker image build works is that for each of the steps they um, compute and hash, so every time something change, it will start from the beginning. What I want to do here is every time I change something on the source or on the public folder, I don't want to run npm install and all over again. So I am separating the two steps so I can reuse these steps if nothing changes on the package.json. Next step is to build the server uh, part, the server side. So what I'm doing again, I am I'm setting work, direct, work directory to user app. Then from here, I copy from UI build. So the step uh, before this one, before, sorry, this one. So I'm copying uh, the files created by the npm run build to a, a new folder co called client build. So this one. At this point, we will have on our user app the uh, build files under user app client build. Then I'm changing again the work directory to go on the server to have all the server files into another folder just for clarity. And then I'm copied again 
uh, package.json and npm install so I can uh, install all the node modules needed for the server.js. Next step is to copy. In this case, it's just one file because it's, it's a very simple um, Express.js web server. In your production case, maybe it will be like, um, you know, a server folder, something like that. In this case, it's just um, one single file and I copy this file into the server folder again. Then I'm setting uh, the node environment variable to production and exposing the 5000 port. Last step is to run the command for the production. In this case is node server.js. And just keep in mind that I am in this folder. So in this folder, I wanna run node server.js that I copy at this step. At this step, we have a fully working Docker image with React application with the React app and the Express.js server serving the React application files. Let's see, I had to do some changes on the server.js file in order to use the correct um, path for the uh, static files of React. So as a, um, what I did is to, based on the env variable, so if it's development, I'm using some uh, paths, if it's production, I'm using some others that are defined on the Docker file. So what we are interested in here is the production case. So if um, if the not have, here I should like change it to be more, let's say, precise. I can do something like this. Uh, production. And this should be all right. Okay. So here I'm saying if the not env is in production, please serve all the static files from client build. And since I'm running the node server on the work on the, let's see here. So I am running the Node.js process on this uh, folder and the React application files are on the client build folder. So what I have to do is to go up by one level and then navigate through client build. And this is what I'm doing on the uh, express static middleware. So I'm basically saying navigate through the parent folder, go to client and build, and from here serve all the static files. Same thing for the index.html um, file. If you need to understand why this is needed for the Express.js file, I'm gonna link the previous video where I am explaining all of this uh, syntax. So with this in mind, we should be able to run our Docker container first on localhost and then I'm gonna deploy it on a server. Let's try out. Okay, so we have our Docker file. I am on the directory with the Docker file. Next step is to build the image. I, I have already done it, but the command will be docker build. Then you can set like a tag and I think I call it like, let me see. So I did like um, docker container image uh, less. Yeah, I call it like this. And let's see. So the command is docker build, build minus tag this one and then use the root use the root um path to get the docker file so what is going to happen is that in this case since i already done it like before the video it's all cached as you can see so as i was saying before if the docker engine knows that the layer already have have, have already been built is using the caching uh, modules so here we have our Docker image. Next step is to run the container. So let me copy the name of the image. It's going to be Docker container run. We need to open some ports. So it's going to be 5000. Then I'm going to just do this one to remove the container. And then it's going to be Docker Express JS React. Uh, I think there is just a console log saying server started. Yes. Okay. So now the container is running. And if we visit localhost 5000, we should be able to see our React application. Yes, it's working. Let's see if we can navigate through the routes. We can. If we reload, everything is working. So, yes, we tested on the localhost and it's working. Next step is to deploy on an EC2 instance. Okay, I logged into an EC2 instance, I installed Docker. It's quite simple if you just Google it, like uh, Ubuntu Docker installation, something like that. 
and it's working. So if we do like um, Docker version, I think something's gonna come out. Yeah, so Docker is working, it's running, and everything is okay. Um, next step is to I clone the project. So if I go here, I should be able to see the Docker file. Yes, it's here. And it's the same that we have just shown at the beginning of the video. So we have to do the same steps. So I already built the uh, image. So if I do like this, I should see the image. Yes, I call it, in this case, I call it Docker Express. And I think I also already, yeah, the container, I think it's already running. Yes, it's already running. Uh, so the, the command is the same, it's like Docker, Docker container run. Then you expose the ports and like this and you run the image. We can see the full command if you do like, you know, history, and this is the command that I used, so this one. This is running, so on the on our server, there is a process running on localhost 5000. Last step, last step sorry, is to check uh, the Nginx config and see if it's actually forwarding all the requests to our Docker container. So we go on the etc nginx uh, conf express.js conf and what I'm saying on the root path, I uh, add like a location block with the proxy pass to localhost 5000. Again, I explained all of this in the previous video, so feel free to, to watch it. So now if we go and wanna just run sudo service nginx restart to make sure that it picked up all the changes. And if we go on the IP of the server, which is this one, we will see that it's running using the docker container. So the routes are working as well, and it's all working as expected, which is quite cool. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope this video was useful. I'm gonna leave all the reference like GitHub repo and commands that I use in this tutorial on the video description. If it was interesting, feel free to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Cheers.